so here today we are talking about everything wigs every hi hi darlings welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome welcome please don't forget to subscribe subscription box is somewhere down here i guess and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back welcome back to my channel so here today we're talking about everything wigs everything you need to know about wigs types of wigs blah 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 think that what you want to hear at this moment please keep watching yes yeah, so we know that in this century in this age it's an age of wigs everything that's happening now people just wear wigs because it's way easier although there are some women girls ladies that would rather have braids on and that's totally fine but if you are the person that loves wigs or you're somebody that's always busy and can always get your head on you know you always need wigs now i'm here to tell you the type of wig you need to wear for different occasions first of all wigs for occasions i think the most essential wig everybody should have the must have wig must have wig wherever you're keeping your closet your rack your <laughs> your bag if you keep it in um, Ziploc bags wherever you store it what you need in that bag first of all is a bob wig I don't know you can never go wrong with a bob wig you can I have not seen anybody go wrong with a bob wig because it is very versatile you can style it in any way that's if it is a frontal but if you're like me that it's not really being a frontal right now I'm trying to change that you can just get a normal center part or side part you know that it's just easy wear and go and if you're working you're working class person like you do 95 8 to 5 whatever it is in your country you know you need a bob wig like just get your neat cornrows if it is still neat and you're not like me that can carry a for up to a month yes that's not good but a bob wig is a must have it goes with everything it gives you that boss vibes it gives you the pot pat party vibes it gives you the um chill vibes whatever you need the wig to do it listens yes that's what a bob wig does it literally listens to you every single time yes so a must have bob wig is a bob wig so it could either be eight inches or jump put a picture of eight inches it can be 10 inches it can be 12 yeah like i'm wearing 12 inches bob wig here now it don't really bob it's just i didn't bob i unbobbed it because maybe i wanted to go for a different look but it's still kind of in but yeah a bob wig is something you can never go wrong with another type of wig that's important is um a wavy wig i always tell people to have okay no wavy curls yeah like water curls yeah so in place of braids in summer or wherever it is whatever it is called in your country I advise that you don't wear straight hairs to the beach or to the pool or to anything that involves water. I don't advise that you wear straight hairs. I don't think it is good um, for your wigs. I've done it before, like a legit experiment. Okay, it wasn't an experiment, but I ended up experimenting because I didn't even know. It was later I found out that, okay, it will be good for you. Yes, you spend a lot of money buying those wigs, I'm aware. Yes, you think, oh, yeah, because I've spent 500k on this wig. Nothing will happen to it, even if the sun touches it, the moon touches it, the mass touches it. Did to say the mass? <laughs> yeah, you think because you spent so much money, nothing will happen to the wig, the straight wig. I'd rather you don't put your straight hairs in water because if you take time, since you don't even know how to um, straighten hair, you know, silk press, it's bad for you to for it to go back to how it was before. So that means you need to spend money revamping that wig. And you can, if you're in Nigeria, you can spend close to 15,000 or 10,000 or in some places 5,000 or they can do a good job revamping the wig. So, in place of that, just wear a water curls like it, it could be deep waves, it could be the normal pixie curls, the pixie, pixie curls, yeah, that's what they call it. I try and put pictures, so you know, what I'm talking about. So, if you're going to anything that has to do with water, just make sure you're putting on coily hair, not maybe wavy but not straight not your bone straight into the water i know it is bone straight but don't put it into the water sisters don't put your bone straight hair inside the water 
another type of wig that I feel like it is an essential are wavy hairs. Uh, wavy hair, mm, I don't have one yet. I'm trying to get one right now because I don't know. This, I've been seeing a lot of them, especially the short ones. They are so pretty. Like, wait, what? Wait, what? Are you seeing that? Are you? They are really, really pretty, and I feel like you can just throw them on. So yeah, for wavy hairs, they are so fine for like dinner dates. You know, when you're just putting on like a black dress, and maybe it is a side part, and it just comes together. But I try to put and put it here. It just comes out really nice, and yeah, so wavy hairs. So I first of all mentioned bob wigs. I mentioned um, watercolors whatever length you desire then wavy hair on that type of hair that i i don't have but i've been saying it i like it all these kinky curls i like them but i don't even know so much about them something about me is before i buy a wig i must know how to take care of the wig how i want to style the wig i don't just go and buy any type of hair because i'm seeing a picture of it i picture myself on that wig like how will i look if i'm wearing it I will like how will it look on my head if it doesn't look nice and if I don't know how to take care of it I won't buy it one reason why it took me a while to get a frontal a frontal wig is I had to learn how to lay it I won't say I'm not perfect at it but I think I can do it now compared to then when I do have the tools for it I didn't have the necessary things to take care of it then I can't even taking care of frontal wigs is different yeah very very different another thing i feel like you should know about hair so i'll stop there for the types of wig any other type that i did not call i don't think it's an essential if it's not a bulb wig if it's not a water call if it is not a baby hair i think if you're buying it it's just an extra for you like okay you just want to have it in your collection you just want to do that just like the really long 32 inches bone straight or or the straight hairs I feel like they are no essentials but if you must buy good luck buy it and buy it but for starters the bob wig is nice the water curls very beautiful wavy hair beautiful yeah now caring for your wigs what this is I don't know this is an issue I have with people people feel like you just wake up one day and you just throw that hair anywhere why like you're done with the wig you're back home and you just remove it and you just dump it on your chair or just dump it on the floor or whatever you feel you should do i feel like it doesn't make sense if you must take care of your wig just do it well if you don't have a mannequin i mean the mannequin head yeah that's okay you just need a ziplock bag you add the wig. I don't mean you can put it under the sun. I don't advise people to put their wigs under the sun. You can just maybe put it off for a bit. Maybe put it on your chair for it to just enter, so it doesn't start smelling inside the ziplock. And you put it in the bag when you're done. That's a, that's a proper way to store the wigs. And if you must keep your wigs on a mannequin head, canvas head, whatever it is, make sure you cover it with a plastic bag so dust doesn't settle on it. I feel like that's very very important. Very very important yeah on that thing i see people do please stop doing this stop straightening your wigs without heat protectant your hair literally starts shedding you should be able to take care of your hair as much as you can take care of your wigs yeah treat your wigs like it's your, it's your natural hair if you're going straight to your natural hair, you know you need to heat protectant although some people don't but advise that you should so if you're going to straighten your wig, sis, make sure you put heat protectant on that wig. Make sure you put that before straightening it. If possible, you can put the argan oil. I've not still gotten that because honestly, I'm not be straightening my wigs. I will even lie. So I've rebound my hands since then. I don't really wear big, so I've not really had the reason to straighten. I just wear it. I just make sure I take care of it so it doesn't bend and I wear it again. But if I must, I just use the heat protectant. But if you can also buy buy the argan oil air, argan hair oil yeah before i start saying nonsense now yeah the argan hair oil but most importantly heat protectant you should have that in your corner to take care of your wig another thing on that tip i want to drop is that make sure 
you always put your wig in a way that it doesn't bend for example if you have a mannequin and you're going to put let me say this wig on it make sure you brush it before putting it then you cover it put it in a place that you know people won't be touching it you know and all of that then if you're going to put it in a plastic bag if you don't have a ziplock bag if there is very long just lay it straight and try and put it on a straight smooth surface so it doesn't bend you know if you're going to pick up that hair it's still going to be straight it's not bending <sighs> sorry this my fan is really blowing my into my mouth it's getting trapped in my lips so if you must make sure you always lay it flat so it doesn't bend so you don't have to straighten your every time that would me i do i don't have to always straighten my every time it takes me a while if i go back and straighten my i was laid flat but put it on a mannequin for my long hairs i know that the mannequin i don't have a place to put it i to keep standing straight so i try to look for a very big bag so i just wrap it around it so it's still straight and i lay it i feel like that's the biggest tip in the world for straight hairs if you have a straight hair or if you have straight hairs make sure you do that so that's all for the tips and tricks of wigs if you know more tips and tricks or you know more wigs that i did not mention please let me know in the comment section let's chat in the comment section and if you have any other video suggestion for me please let me know in the comment section yeah thank you for watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to subscribe if you haven't Yes, and also don't forget to binge watch my videos. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.